Friday morning and I've already done quite a bit of things like pottering around this morning. I've got some washing pegged day, we've had our breakfast. So I just have a bit of washing up to do. And then we are going to get showered and dressed and I need to nip into town for a few bits today. So we're going to try and go there this morning and then get back, have some dinner. I'm really looking forward to just spending the day with Phoebe though today. I mean, I do every Friday, but this week I feel like I've not seen her because, you know, I dropped her off at nursery Tuesday morning as normal. And then my mum has her on a Tuesday night, but Luke got a car from work, so he picked her up from nursery and took her to my mum's. So I didn't need to go kind of out my way because it is easier for me to come straight home from work. So then if I go to nursery and to my mum's, if Luke's got a car, it seems a bit pointless. So he dropped her straight off at my mum's Tuesday night and she slept over there. I went to work Wednesday and then I went swimming after work. And when I got back Wednesday night, she was in bed fast asleep. Um, so I didn't even... She is normally still awake when I get back, but I was a little bit later this week. So she was in bed fast asleep. So I didn't see her till Thursday morning. So I've like really missed her, but I'm going to have fun. And then we've got... Tomorrow I have got an appointment with a florist to discuss wedding flowers. And then Sunday Phoebe is at a friend's birthday party. So that's like at a soft play centre, so she's really excited for that. So we are back from the shops. But you want to show what you got from Primark, didn't you? She fleeces everywhere we go. Anytime we go in the shop, she ends up picking something up and we're too soft to send off. A makeup bag. So what is it, a little bell makeup bag? And what did you get with it? Mm. Oh. Lipstick. Got two lipstick. Li got two lipsticks. And what Lips. else? Look, hold them to the thing. Lips. Put it like that so they can see. <gasps> yeah? Mum, mm. can I put this on there? Hello. <laughs> I'm just putting lipstick on this. Put a bit of lipstick on. Can you open it? I don't have taller lipstick. Oh, that's a little ball. <laughs> you don't press it too hard because it'll come out really fast. Just a little bit. It's enough. And then what do you do? Do you go? Phoebe, go. I need some orange one at the bottom. Put the lid back on that one then. Yeah, we need you stronger, you're stronger. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's what we get up to, you know, Sperta. How are you there? Aww. You did she eat the kisses today? Uh, <laughs> hello Lay. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making mum's hair like this. You've been mummy's hairdresser today? Yeah. What are you going to do to it? Um, a little bun to I'm doing a little bun. Like a bell. Like a bell? Yeah. Oh yeah, pretty. Uh -huh. Morning everyone. Oh, oh, that's bright. <laughs> so it is Saturday morning and I feel like I've been up for, well I have been up for hours already. Um, It's only ten past eight. But Phoebe, we heard a whinge about half twelve and Luke went into a room and she'd rolled out of bed which is, she's never done that 
ever since having a big bed. Um, but luckily, she's got loads of cushions and pillows on her bed. So when she goes to sleep at night, we take them off and just shove them on the floor. So she just kind of, she had a soft landing and she was fine. So she went back to sleep. And then about half two, she came in our room saying she was scared. And we, we didn't have the heart to just tell her to go back into her bed. So she got in with us, but she's not the most still sleeper. She kind of arms everywhere, legs everywhere, and it was hot. So she was sweating. So we've not had the best sleep. Um, but like I said, we was up at about six. So I am dressed, she's just having breakfast and then we're going to go dancing. So we have, we went dancing and then I needed, I just felt like I had a million and one things to do. So we came home from dancing, got changed, nipped to my mum's to pick something up and then I nipped to pick Jenny up and then we went to the forest for a quote with the wedding flowers. Um, to be honest, it's the one part of the wedding planning I don't have a clue on average how much wedding flowers cost so I kind of have gone in a bit blindly but we've got the quote I am going to go and see a couple more just to compare the prices because I don't know if what she's quoted us is good or if it's on the expensive side but either way I was really impressed and she was really nice and I would like I do really you know where you just get that feeling you think that yeah these are this is the one but I'm not going to just jump in and say, yeah, we'll have it. I'm just going to get a few prices first and just see the feeling I get. Because like I said, it was the first one I went into, but we'll see. But I was really impressed. So we nipped there and then we just grabbed a bit of lunch on the go. And then we nipped into Home Bargains, which is... I'm not going to do a separate video because we haven't got that much. And I don't feel like I've got that much footage for this weekly vlog. So I am just kind of going to involve it in this. So we nipped into home bargains because Phoebe is at a birthday party tomorrow and we just needed to pick up a present and when they get to that age where they're going to birthday parties you kind of get past the point of spending a fortune on gifts and home bargains have got some lovely little toys and things and I needed a few bits anyway so we just nipped in there. So I shall show you what we got. So the first thing was just this gift bag. Any little girl at the moment, if she's anything like mine, is obsessed with unicorns and things. So we got that. Just a little, my little pony. I think I think you can like, do things with it's her and it's all different colours, but Phoebe did choose these. But I think she kind of thought it of what she'd like as opposed to what the little girl would like, but I think it'll be a winner. Just got that little one to go with it as well. I'm not even really sure what it is, to be honest. I just know it's my little bonnet and Phoebe said that her friend would like it. Just got a box of tissues for the living room. I am really weird. When I get tissues for the living room, I have to get a box that actually kind of matches the living room. So that's, hence why I've got like a grey, silver colour. I've jumped on the <clears throat> Zaflora bandwagon I see in so many people's vlogs that they use it and then I have used it a few times with like mopping my floor and stuff and it does smell amazing and then I went in and they've got this limited edition one it's a honeysuckle and jasmine and to be honest I didn't even open it to smell it I just thought oh I like that so now I'll give it a smell oh yeah that is lovely that I've been mapping my floors with that. And then I picked, I didn't go with the intention of buying these, but for what they cost, I couldn't not. They're just like little Tupperware tubs. But they were like 49p for all three, which I thought was a bargain. And we're coming into like summer now, and it's lovely. And we're, we're, Phoebe's constantly asking to go on picnics and things, so I thought they're just handy just to shove little snacks in. Even not if we're going on a picnic, even if we're just out and about, I can just fill them up with some snacks and then shove them in my handbag. So more Tupperware for the cupboard, which is annoying, but they are really cute and handy. <laughs> I also just picked up another gift bag because there's always so uh, someone's birthday or something going on. We got that little 
card for Phoebe's friend tomorrow. That was 39p. And then we just picked this up for Phoebe. We are trying to re what's the word like? She's got books what she's had from being really small, but we're trying to like reju rejuvenate. I don't know if that's a word, but like get her some new books basically. So every time we go to that home bargains or Pain World or somewhere like that, they have the books are genuinely like okay. So um we just tend to pick one or two up. But I know the, the, the Beatrix Potter books, I used to like reading them when I was younger, so I will enjoy reading these kind of books to her. Also, I've got just some toilet gel, some shower gel. Every time I go, I pick up a different shower gel. I always try different ones, but I really like Nivea products in general so I thought I'd give that one a try Phoebe chose this because she has got a little on in her bedroom which is nearly finished so she just saw that and thought it was Nemo so she wanted that for a bathroom so we just picked that up I'm not mega into makeup I'm not really that good at doing it but um recently I have I noticed I don't know if it was just me being paranoid if there were genuinely there little grey hairs in my eyebrows. So I got eyebrow pencil which has been fine but I'm not overly keen on using the pencil. So I said oh, I was going to get myself a palette without the little brush and things. Anyway I've just completely forgot to pick one up but it was in home bargains and I saw that. So I think it was only a pound and I think well it might not be the best but if, if it does what I need it to do fair enough and then if I don't like it I've not exactly spent a fortune on it so yeah so good to give that a try so yeah so that was pretty much what we've been up to so now we are just Phoebe's just falling asleep on the couch because like I said she was up really early and she didn't have the best sleep last night so she fell asleep in the car on the way home and then got straight on the couch and just nodded straight back off. And so it's just housework again. But we actually go away a week on Monday so this weekend I'm just going to try and catch up on bits. Because then next weekend will be spent, well I'm working next Sunday and then Saturday we're going to try and get the packing done and get everything Sorted for a little family trip. The weather's pretty miserable today compared to how nice it has been. I mean, it's not cold, it's still really muggy, but it's just like a drizzle. But it's like in between, like, it's too muggy to put even a coat on or a, even a thin jacket, it's too hot. Hope the weather improves for next week because we are going away, but we are only in a caravan in the UK, so we are praying it's nice weather. There are things nearby to do if it's not so nice. But if it is nice, it'll just make it so much better. Hi, so it is now Sunday tea time. I've not really filmed much today because to be honest, I've spent most of the afternoon in bed with an absolutely horrendous migraine. Luckily it's like worn off now, but I've just not felt like doing anything today. Um, this morning we took fever too a birthday party at a software centre which in itself was just a nightmare because whereabouts it is it should have taken us about 15-20 minutes but one of the roads we needed to go down was closed for roadworks which we already knew about so we'd already took a detour so what should have taken us 20 minutes took us 45 and then from the party I needed to meet to one of my friends just to drop some stuff off what she'd left at mine um, so then we kind of started making our way to hers and then came to another unexpected road closure so I had to turn around and go an entire different way anyway we pulled into the main road that leads to her house and we saw another sign road closed but luckily the road only closed after her house so we managed to get there but all in all, to get back to, from leaving the party to getting home took us an hour and a half. 
but on any other day it should have taken us 20 25 minutes tops even including the drop off at my friends so i think that just brought um, my headache on as well but yeah so fia is just watching a dvd upstairs luke is on his xbox and i've just got a curry on for tea so we're just gonna have tea I'll get all their uniforms and stuff ready for tomorrow and then just chill out and catch up on some TV, I think. So I do apologise that this weekly one has been a bit boring, but I promise you I'm going to get better because we're going to be going away next week, so next week will be quite good. So yeah, so if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I shall see you all soon. Bye.